Hello, hello. Making a video about religion. I see that most people do not even know what religion really is, where it came from, what it meant originally, and that the meaning of religion has completely switched 180 degrees from the original state. So, Jiddu Krishnamurti, great teacher, reincarnation of Gautama Buddha, has written and given amazing presentations about going within and mindfulness and he used to be in a theosophical society he got out of it because he rejected the concept of religion in the meaning that has been developed to this day and also how it was for the last three, five hundred, maybe thousand, maybe, maybe two thousand years. So the original sense of religion is much older than that. So he said that originally religion comes from the word religio. It's a Latin word, two Latin words. Re means back and legio means bring. Legionnaire comes from that word also. Legionnaire. Um, bring back. So people were bringing back to the table. They were going out, they were venturing out and they were bringing back their experiences to the to the group to the not even a table to a bonfire that's how they heated themselves the original sense of religion is ancient it's probably as ancient as the neanderthals cave people you know they sat around a fire they went, ventured out into the world and they brought back any kind of experience they had. Usually it was a physical experience. It could have been a metaphysical experience too. Whatever they experienced or felt or sensations they had or connections they made, they brought back to the group. And it was an egalitarian concept. Everybody had the same rights to bring back the information. The children too. Everyone, you know, everyone was listened to. Everyone was seen. Everyone was heard. Everyone was noticed. Was taken into consideration. Everyone had equal rights to talk about their experiences and together they computed this, these experiences and they came up with theories and they came up, tried to come up with understandings of things about the animals in the wild and how they function and the biology all around them and within themselves and so they started to, wanted to get a grip on how things work and so that's how they gathered information from everybody and they together they brainstormed. Religio, religion has undertaken a complete 180 degree turn for the worse since the ancient times. It has become more and more a dictational situation where one person became the dictator and he started to tell the other people how things are. And if somebody said, 
wait, I have something to say too. They were shot up. Their mouths were taped closed with duct tape at some point whenever we started to have duct tape in the world and or mental duct tape to to be more correct okay and people were just shot up okay and they were banned into roles you know women were banned into the role of cooking preparing food the the men were the hunters and, and gatherers. Then the men became the dictators because they just were stronger than the women usually. And if there was a strong woman equal, then she was probably burned because they were afraid of her. She was then seen as danger or some crazy nut shit stuff like that okay so and that is the human psychology uh, Friedrich Nietzsche talks about it he says he calls it human all to human okay. that's why I recommend the books that he wrote because he's taking a very critical look at society in general humanity in general and if we don't take a critical look, we're not going to make progress at all because then we're not going to be able to see where the problems are in order to fix them, right? So we have to take a critical look. We, we don't have any other choice. And when we take a very deep look, which most people try to avoid at all costs, we take a very deep look within ourselves and within society then we'll see all kinds of glitches and problems and issues that need to be repaired that are just begging hello I want to be repaired like loud and clear yeah. but people don't want to take a look because it's painful the truth hurts unfortunately very often religion the way it is today it has nothing to do anymore with free thinking, with experience-based learning, with exploration. Science today is what the original meaning of religio meant. Exploration, trial and error, finding out. learning from experience you know all of these things R real reality based learning that's what religio was that's what science is today and that's what religion is not and that's why we have to turn away from religion and we have to turn to ourselves to the truth to real finding out for yourself a lot of people are afraid of it that is because of unempowerment because they have been drilled religion has become a power system a, a hierarchical power system where there is always one on top of another and he, he, the one on top of the other, you know, psychologically, where well that's what they think they are, they think they are on top of someone else. And if we give in to that, if we play along with it, then we're giving them more food for their hierarchical system, right? So then they think that, that, that they're being approved for, that, for doing this, like a minister, for example, who's trying to tell you how to, how to live your life. You know, who's trying to tell you if you're gay, for example, who, a minister who's trying to tell you that um, you can't be gay because then you're going to go to hell or something like this. This is extreme oppression. This is this is putting people in a in a slavery type of situation where they they they're they're totally unfree. They cannot live to their fullest 
potential anymore. They have to be in f living in fear. They have to hide who they really are. You know. And I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know where to start with all of this. I mean, it's like this is endless and endless and endless information that I can unravel here, you know, just and that's why they're afraid of science because then science has already proven that homosexuality, just to use this one example, homosexuality is not a choice that people just out of the blue choose, like here, I just choose to be with a woman. No, okay, I don't choose to be with a woman because I am not gay biologically. I choose to be with a man, okay, because I'm straight. But it's not because I'm afraid to go to hell, it's because that is who I am biologically. Okay. I had a gay girlfriend, we were just friends. And obviously, she is gay because that's not a choice because she is attracted to women and that's because of the way her brain is set up she's not attracted to men that's how male her brain is okay it is biological okay and this biological uh, th this this from from extreme feminine to extreme male this this shift okay in her brain from female towards male happened during the third month of embryonic development in her mother's womb okay that's where that takes place all kinds of things can shift okay from 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 the extreme female to the extreme male okay. extreme female and extreme male those are the two the two norms the two evolutionary ideals okay that's how life on earth is built on of course you know but when things go wrong during the third month of gestational development the embryo will be stagnated between these two extremes somewhere between them okay it could be a little bit off from the right, a little bit from the left, a little bit more, and it could be in the middle, and it could be in all kinds of different variations, so that the brain is, let's say, totally female, and the body totally male, and, and, and vice versa, and all kinds of different things in between, or the body could be also hermaphrodite, and the brain too, or the brain has more female or more male, or whatever. Anything from bisexuality to total transgenderism. Okay. And that is happening during the third month of gestation when the mother experiences extreme stress. And that's why I'm, I'm always pointing out how important it is for mothers when they are pregnant not to smoke, not to drink, not to take drugs, and not to have a violent boyfriend who slaps them around okay. or have stress at work or have stress whatever you know psychological stress where they have fear or something like that. you want to avoid that you want to have no stress at all when you are pregnant that's very very important I can't point that out often enough because it is so important because your baby is going to suffer from this for her or his whole life for the rest of their lives okay. and not to mention the social stigma that they experience because of religion there the loop goes all the way back to religion again religion isn't bringing us any good Religion is denying evolution. Religion is denying scientific evaluations, scientific data that they established in many different countries where they come out with exactly the same results. Japan and the United States have exactly the same results as well as Europe and Canada in regards to the CO2 emissions that cause greenhouse gases. But the religious folks want to deny it. And that's why it is so, religion is 
so outdated and wrong and it has no place anymore today in 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 our to in our world today where we have to become stewards of mother earth that humanity is overcrowding and 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 humanity is causing the nature to be paved over and to be developed over and all this and the animals are being chased away they have no place to go all of this is completely wrong and religion sanctions all of these corporate things and the corporations of course they use religion as a vehicle to get their ways we need to break away from this and we need to free ourselves 